God's amazing Christmas story. Wow. Year after year, we read his word and all that he did to save you truly amazes us. God's faith gifted people celebrate his amazing salvation work. thinking about the Lord's Supper, communion. Here, we are celebrating Christmas again. I recently saw some Facebook things that shared that truly are things the devil has accomplished as his war against Christmas all through history. The devil fools Christians with his historic deceptions. People don't share this video shared on Facebook. Oh no, but they share garbage things serving the devil. Nothing really changes. But big-headed theologians have looked back and tried to find things in history that prove that God's word is wrong. Clearly, all of these wars against God show hearts that have struggled with the meaning of God's gracious faith gift that simply believes his word. And the word became flesh and dwelt among us. We have seen his glory glory showing him as the Father's only born Son, bringing God's grace and truth. John chapter 1 verse 16. God's grace gives faith. Pistis, a gift, a noun, and from in faith comes belief. Pistuo. True faith always comes out in action. A verb. In English, faith and believe are two different words. But notice, faith, pistis, and believe, pistuo, both have the same Greek root word. As James wrote, but you must, must become doers of the word and not just hearers only. Hearers only deceive themselves. James chapter 1 verse 22. Hearer only Christians want their own life's way. They can support killing babies inside pregnant mothers. Could you imagine Elizabeth or Mary deciding to do that as both of their pregnancies happened, not agreeing with their plans. War against God and Christmas is very dangerous, just as 
self pistis or pistis without pistuo dangerous God's true gracious faith gift depending Christians see the wonder of all God has done in history he chose us in Christ before he made the world he loved us and to save us he made the world he conceived his son in a virgin so sin didn't touch his son until on the cross Jesus became all sin to save us all. He caused Rome to count all people. So his son's birth happened in Bethlehem. There are so many other things. And also today, God's gracious faith gift caused you to come and receive his son, his gift to you in the Lord's Supper. We pray, please copy. Oh God, you made this night holy. You shine to us with the brightness of your true light, Jesus, your Son. Help his light bring our hearts true faith. Help us live the joy, Jesus' birth every day. You give us eternal life through Jesus. Help other people see Jesus' life in us. Give them faith that the birth of your son Jesus becomes the most important happening in their lives. We pray through Jesus, your son, our Lord and King, born for us tonight and shining your light in our hearts forever. Amen.